Good evening, everyone. God bless you. We are Pastors Leroy and Betty Barnes. God bless you all. We are excited to share the word of the living God Praise with you God. on tonight. So everyone join in. Let's connect and let's hear the word of the living God on tonight. Wow. God has a word. So yes. good evening, everyone. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining in. We are so excited every time the Lord allows us an opportunity to speak the word of God, his word to his people. So thank you so much for joining. As we always say, press the share button, press the share button. with your family, your friends, your loved ones. And we would just love to speak the word to them as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, And we truly appreciate those who do that. And many of you do, some don't, and it's okay. But many of you do yes. help us share this gospel. Bless it's you. not, as we say at Relentless Local Church, we say this all the time. We're not building a church. Yes. We're building the kingdom. Amen. We're not building a culture of a, a of a man and a woman. Yes. We're lifting up the name of Jesus. And if he be lifted up, that's when we'll see the lost come to God's saving grace. Lost nephew, lost son, lost Amen. sister, daughter, wherever they may be. Hey, Miss Vicky, God bless you. Uh, and all those that are lost maybe in your family. Help them and tell them, hey, come listen to Pastors Lee Ryan and Betty Barnes. There's a word from the Lord just for you. And we're trying to reach the lost through this avenue of Facebook Live as well. But when you hit the share button, Amen. you help us to spread this gospel, Amen. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everybody write back to Pastor and say the gospel, the gospel of, Jesus Christ. of Jesus Christ. So let's let's go into our lesson. Amen. We've been teaching on overcoming the adversity of life. This is lesson number three. Yes. And we should close it out on tonight. Okay. Uh, we defined in the Greek and the Hebrew what adversity means. We're not talking about adversities, mm. adversity, singular, okay. because for many of us, it's always one particular issue, one particular challenge. Yes. It, it's smoking. It's, it's this one thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's alcohol. It's mm. this one thing. Yes. It's what Jesus told the rich young ruler. You lack one thing, and he told him to go sell all you have, and the Bible says he walked away sorrowfully, but yes, but we're declaring tonight Come that on. your one thing, you're going to deal with it, you're going to overcome it, yes. and we're going to walk in victory. Hey, Miss Tanya, love you, baby. So good evening to you. So now we're excited to share the word on tonight about overcoming the adversity. It doesn't matter if it's your finances, yes. your health, yes. your mind. It doesn't matter what the adversity is. It's defined as difficulties, mm. misfortune, hardship, yes. afflictions, distress, yes. heartache, pain, trauma. Uh, in the Greek, it's the word to endure. In the uh, Hebrew, it's the word bad or evil or disagreeable. But one thing is for sure. Mm. It doesn't matter what we face. Uh -huh. As Christians, Come on. as those who are submitted under the authority of Jesus Christ, yes. we overcome every obstacle and we overcome by faith. Yes, Come on, do. write that back as well. We, we overcome, overcome by faith. faith. So lastly, I'm not going to give Whoa. a scriptural reference, but last week we, we, we defined as how does adversity benefit me? Because most people look at adversity, oh my God, I'm going through this. Oh my God, this happened. Oh my husband, oh my wife, oh my son, oh my daughter. And sometimes as Christians, mm. we look at it from the wrong perspective. Wow. We have to look at adversity as an opportunity. Okay. See, so as, as my friend AJ would say, AJ would say, either you see the glass half full or you see the glass half empty. Yes. I choose to see the glass as Half full. Oh, Why? Yes. Because in the kingdom, we're increasing. Yes. We're not decreasing, <laughs> but we're increasing. That's so I'm good. just going to give you the quotes. Nine ways of how adversity will benefit me. Yes. Number one, it redirects our attention to God. Yes, it does. Adversity will drive you to the altar. Yes, adversity amen. will drive you to your knees so you can pray and call on the name of the Lord. Amen. Adversity, number two, it is a call to self-examination. Hmm. The Bible says if you judge yourself, hmm. you won't be judged. Yes. Number three, it's the reassuring of God's love. Why is that? He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. When things are going well, he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. When things are going not so well, or I'm going through the challenges or the adversities of life, he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. Number four, he reveals my pride. Adversity will reveal to me if my confidence is in the Lord or if my confidence is within me. Number five. The adversity is our motivation mm -hmm. to seek Jehovah. Wow. 
It's my motivation to seek Jehovah. The Bible says the righteous will cry out. Yes, it's my will. motivation to seek the Lord. Amen. Number six, how does adversity benefit me? Number yes. six, mm -hmm. it brings me into a call of renewed commitment to Christ. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yes. it'll cause me to re de recommit my life to the yes, Lord. And number, number nine, it helps purify my faith. I think I missed the number there. But it helps purify my faith. How does adversity help me or benefit me? It helps purify my faith. When we're going through the adversities of life, it will cause us to use our faith. Yeah. How does faith come? By hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. So let's look at this. Psalms 22 verse 24. Okay. Psalms 22 verse 24. No believer, listen to this. No believer is immune to adversity. Sometimes, like David, we create our own adversities. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, you don't want to continue to cr create adversities in your life. Listen, life brings its own adversity. Ah, yes. I don't need to create any more. Oh, Glory no, to God. That's not good. But let's look at Psalms 22, verse 24. Yes. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Nor has God hidden his face <laughs> from him, but he cried to him and the Lord heard. So those who are going through the afflictions of life or the adversities of life, God will not hide his face from you. Wow. God will hear you because you cry out to him yes. and he will hear your cry. Every time the children of Israel were in bondage, the Bible says they cried out to the Lord. And what, God, what did the Lord do? He heard their cries and he sent a prophet. Yes, he, he heard their cry yes. and he sent a word. Woo. He heard their cry and he brought forth deliverance. Yes, he did. <laughs> Glory, to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Let's look at this one. First Peter. Yes. Chapter five, verse six. First Peter. Chapter 5, verse 6. Mm -hmm. God's desire is for his people to call upon him yes. in adversity, which will produce humility. Yes. So true. God's desire. Hey, Miss Mildred, good to see you tonight. God's desire uh -huh. is for his people to call upon him in adversity, which will produce the spirit of humility. First yes. Peter 5 and 6 says this. Amen. Therefore, Humble yourselves. That word is translated yes. submit yourselves. Yes. Fear the Lord or to be modest. Yes. Therefore, humble yourselves mm. under the mighty hand yes. of the Lord uh -huh. and he mm. will exalt you Amen. in due time. Yes. But only to those who yes. humble themselves. Amen. Casting all, not one, not all. two, but all of your adversity. Yes. All, all of your cares, yes. all of your challenges, oh, you, cast them upon him Amen. for he cares for you. Amen. In due time means the right time. It yes. means faith time. Yes. It means now is the time of your deliverance. Mm. Humility is to submit. Amen. See, when you're going through the adversity of life or the mm. challenges of life, mm. You don't sit there and complain. You don't sit there and curse. You don't scream. You don't throw things. You don't hit the wall. You don't mistreat your family. No, 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 no. When adversity comes to you, comes knocking at your door, the first thing you do is humble yourself. You pray. You humble yourself. You study the word. You humble yourself. You sing the songs of Zion. You humble yourself. And you ask for repentance. You humble yourself. And the Bible makes it clear, my brother, my sister, that when you and I humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, God will. Not he might. He will. Not a suggestion. Yes, sir. He will raise you up yes, out of your adversity Praise and God. he will he will bring deliverance to your life. Amen. He will, everybody write back to Pastor and say, He will he exalt will me. Exalt me. I'm not gonna stay in this adversity four, five years. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay in this broke state six, seven years. Yes. I'm not gonna stay in this mindset of mental anguish and, and depression. No, 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 no. I'm going to humble myself. Amen. I'm going to yield to God. Amen. I'm going to 
cast all my cares, Amen. all the burdens, Amen. all the stress, all the anger. I'm going to cast it up on the Lord because he cares for me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He loves you tonight. Amen. It is not God's will for you to struggle with sickness and disease. No. It is not God's will for you to be broke, living from paycheck to paycheck. It is not God's will for you to be in an abused Come situation. It is not God's will. Come listen to me tonight. On. It is his will to call. It is his will to exalt you Experience. and to raise you and I up. Heaven on earth. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Psalms eighty-five. Come Let's on. take a look, look at this one. <laughs> Psalms eighty-five, verse eight. <laughs> Psalms eighty-five, verse eight. Listen yes. to this one. I will hear yes. what God the Lord will speak, hmm. for He will speak shalom, peace. <laughs> To his people and to his saints. Yes, but let them not turn back to adversity. Oh, let them not turn back to their sin. Amen. Let, them, let them not turn back to the anger. <laughs> listen to me tonight. Learn, write this, write this down. Learn to listen. Yes. Let me slow down. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. In the in the adversity, mm. In the difficulty, yes. in the challenge of life, yes. learn, learn to, to listen yes. to his voice. He has an answer to your problem. Wow. Learn to listen. Let him that has ears to hear, yes. let him yes. hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say. Yes. Now watch this. I want to go over it. Uh, slow down. Mm -hmm. I want to go over it again. Mm -hmm. I will hear yes. out of my spirit. I'm pointing to my ears, but I'm talking about the ears of your spirit. Yes. Learn to hear what God will speak. Mm. So the Lord has something to say about your adversity. Yes. The Lord has something to say about the sickness. Mm. The Lord has something to say about the health, All the right. finances. The Lord has something to say. But you have to have an ear to hear. What will he say? The scripture says it in Psalms 85 verse 8. For he will speak, here it is, shalom. Amen. Now, what is the word shalom translated in the Hebrew? Mm -hmm. It's translated harmony. Everything working in your life smooth. Amen. It's the word wholeness. Amen. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Everything works. Come Amen. on, write that back. Everything works in my life. Everything works. It's the word translated completeness. Yes. It's translated prosperity. Amen. And it's translated welfare. Meaning he will take care of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will take care of you. Hallelujah. Well, since we're talking about adversity, let's mm -hmm. look at let's look at a, a, about six famous people mm -hmm. that you know, names that you know who overcame their adversity. Okay. Just some just some natural people. Okay. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Albert Einstein. Yes. Einstein didn't speak at all for the first three years of his life. But even though he received good grades throughout uh, his primary elementary school, many of his teachers assumed that he was lazy mm. because he was always distracted by the abstract concepts. Mm. Despite the lack of confidence from his teachers mm. and from adults towards Einstein, mm. he rose above such adversity and develop the theory of relativity. Wow. He overcame the adversity. Yeah. Okay. Jim Carrey, the famous comedian. Oh, wow. When Jim Carrey was 15 years old, he dropped out of high school to support his family. And soon after, he and his family were living in a van. Wow. However, Carey continued to follow after his dreams of becoming a comedian. And we all know he, he became a famous comedian. A comedian but he overcame the adversity. How about that? Thomas Edison. Wow. Edison failed 10,000 times. Wow. You better hear me. Wow. Thomas Edison failed 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. Wow. Can you imagine failing that many times? Instead of quitting, listen tonight, instead of quitting, Edison tried and tried again until he achieved success. That kind of dedication is nothing short of extraordinary. <laughs> he overcame the adversity. Come on. Stephen King, the famous director. Okay. King's first novel was the movie called Carrie. Yeah. 
It was rejected by 30 different publishers. Wow. He was so upset that he threw his novel into the trash can. But his wife uh, later fished it out of the trash can and encouraged her husband to finish the book. Amen. King's book sold over 350 million copies and Carrie became a classic novel with many film and TV adaptations to his name. Wow. King's story shows that sometimes people just need a little encouragement yep. to overcome <laughs> the adversities of life. Everybody write back and say just a little encouragement. Just a little encouragement. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. Oh, wow. Ben Franklin, when Franklin was 10 years old, okay. his parents could no longer afford to send him to school. However, financial concerns couldn't stop him from pursuing an education. Through reading, he, he was able to educate himself. Come on. And the fruits of his knowledge included the lightning, the lightning rod and bifocals. Thank God, because I'm wearing some bifocals as we speak. Thank God for Benjamin Franklin. He never quit. He wow. overcame his adversity. Listen to this one. <laughs> Bethany Hamilton. I didn't know who she was. Okay. Bethany Hamilton. Okay. At just 13 years old, huh. Hamilton had her left arm bitten off by a shark during a surfing accident. Wow. Instead of admitting defeat and quitting, she went back to her surfboard one month later, continued to practice. Two years later, she was able to win her first place in the Explorer Women's Division of the S N S S A National Championships. Wow. If that isn't overcoming the difficulties or the obstacles of life, I don't know what is. <laughs> she had her arm bitten off by a shark and still succeeded. Wow. She overcame yeah. her adversity. Wow. And lastly tonight, watch this one. Walt Disney. Yes. Walt Disney. Come on. Walt Disney was fired from his first job at the Kansas City Star newspaper uh -huh. after his newspaper editor told Walt Disney that he didn't have enough imagination or creativity. Wow. A few years later, he drove Disney's animation studio Laughogram into bankruptcy. Wow. Only when he moved to California huh. to produce cartoons did his career rise and take off. Walt Disney's determination to meet his personal goals is a great example of overcoming life's adversities. How? He didn't quit. Everybody write back to Pastor say, don't quit. Don't quit. So let's close with a story that Jesus had with a man who had a, a situation and he had a, an obstacle. And we're going to close with this story. Matthew, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Amen. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. We're going to see a man who was blind. Wow. And you got to know you got adversities. You got to know that you have obstacles, obstacles when you're blind. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So listen to this quote before I read it. Yes. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. in life, yes. everyone, Christian, non-Christian, okay. faith, non-faith, mm -hmm. everyone deals with adversities. Yes. Everyone faces obstacles in life. Okay. Winners and losers are separated by how they choose to respond to the adversity. Wow. Winners and losers. Watch yeah. this. Winners in the Christian race learn how to overcome their adversities by taking full responsibility of every opportunity. Yeah. You and I as Christians yeah. have to look at the challenges, yeah. have to look at the difficulties, have to look at the adversities as opportunities. Wow. Not to quit, not to give up, sure. but an, an opportunity to rise. to rise. An opportunity to use my faith. Come on. An opportunity to expand the kingdom yes, sir. within me. Within us. Yeah. Watch this. Wow. Blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus is, is defined as son of unclean because he was blind, or son of the honorable because he was a believer. Yes, sir. Watch this, verse 46. Now they came to Jericho. Uh -huh. As he, Jesus, went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, uh -huh. the son of Timaeus, uh -huh. sat by the roadside begging. Uh -huh. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out because the Lord is waiting on his people in the adversity to do what? 
cry out. out. Yes, he. So he cried out and saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. What's that? The grace of God. Yes. Verse 48. Then many warned Bartimaeus, be quiet. Shut up. And isn't it amazing that people in life, they're not blind. They're not struggling. They're not, they don't have bad marital problems. Everything's great for them. But see, when I'm struggling, don't get, get, don't get mad at me and tell me to shush. When I'm trying to cry out. Because the Lord is looking for you and I to call on his name. Those who call upon the name of the Lord, he shall hear. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, he will. Watch this. Glory. They said, be quiet. Hmm. But he cried out the more. <laughs> Son of David, have mercy on me. So oh. Jesus stood still. Oh my God. And commanded him to come. Yes. Then they called the blind man saying, be of good cheer Rise, he is calling you. Now the same folks said, it's all right, come on. But before then, they told him, shut up. Be quiet. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh. Then they called the blind man and said, be a good cheer, he's calling you. Yes. So what's your name? Because the Lord is calling you. Amen. Receive that. Amen. Everybody write back to the and say, the Lord is calling me. The Lord is calling me. The Lord is calling You have to have an ear to hear, to hear the call. <laughs> Yes, sir. Verse 50, yeah. throwing aside his begging garment because the begging garment was his license to beg. But when he mm -hmm. knew that the Lord was calling him, he threw aside his begging garment Wait. because he wasn't coming back to this place. <laughs> he was overcoming the, his adversity. <laughs> throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. Yes. So Jesus said and answered to him, what do you want from me? Yes. He says, Rabbi, that I may receive my sight. Now, you know he's overcoming the adversity yes. because he had already thrown away his license to beg yep. because he had an expectation to receive his sight. Amen. It's yes. how you look at it. Amen. It's how you perceive it. Amen. He took this opportunity mm. to look at Jesus and beg and scream for this grace to come upon him. Wow. He had an expectation of overcoming. Mm. He didn't have an expectation to stay blind. Wow. He had an expectation, I'm about to receive my sight. Amen. The blind man said, Rabbi, mm. that I may receive my sight. Verse 52, and we're going to a close. Verse 52. And immediately. Immediately. Oh my God. Everybody write back to pastor and say, I receive my immediately. I receive my immediately. And immediately. Yes. Watch this. Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. What was his faith? He threw away his garment clothes. He had an expectation that the Lord is about to heal me. So he saw in his blind state, I'm healed. He saw in his blind state, I'm made whole. He already saw in his blind state, the Lord makes me rich. Yeah. The blessing of the Lord He's makes me mind. rich. Watch He's this. Dead. And immediately, yes, sir. he received his sight. And watch this. He didn't walk away from Jesus. The Bible says he followed Jesus down the road. He didn't quit on Jesus because he got the blessing. Yes. He didn't quit on Jesus because the money finally came in. See, when the money comes in, you still honor the Lord. You give your tithe. Because you got to continue to follow the Lord. Amen. He didn't stop going to church. He yes. increased his church attendance. Because you have to continue yes. to follow the Lord. See, you don't receive the blessing. <laughs> you don't receive the sight. And then you go fishing. No, you come to the house of the Lord. Amen. Now, here's a question. What kind of adversity are you facing tonight? Wow. Is it physical? Wow. Is it mental? Wow. Is it a disability? Hmm. Is it a situation that hinders your progress in life? Wow. Is it drawbacks? Is it shortcomings? Or is it, a, is it an, an unfavorable condition? Unfavorable. What about things that cause you to come short of your goals, dreams, and purposes? But I'm here tonight to tell you as I close this lesson. The answer is Jesus. Amen. Come unto me. All you that labor and are heavy laden, and 
I will give you rest. Amen. So stop struggling in that marriage. Amen. Stop struggling in your finances. Stop struggling with your mind. Stop struggling with that son or that daughter. Stop struggling. Stop it. Yes. Come to Jesus. Amen. Give your heart. Give your whole life to the Lord. Stop arguing with your father and your mother. Honor your father and your mother. Amen. Stop it. Amen. Everybody write back to Pastor and say, stop it. Stop it. Submit yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord. Amen. And he will cause you to rise in your due season. Amen. Stop it. <laughs> stop being angry. Yes. Stop cursing. Wow. Stop, stop doubting God. Wow. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting your pastors. But believe you receive and you shall have. have. Amen. Because you can overcome yes, we can. the adversities of life. Amen. At the end of the day, I like to say this, Pastor Betty. Mm. At the end of the day, we win. Yes, we do. I win. Yes, we do. I win. It is not God's will for you to lose. It is your. It is God's will for you to win. When Jesus Christ died, they thought he lost. But give me three days. Hey. <laughs> and he came Amen. out of that grave and he said these words all Amen. power in heaven Amen. all power on earth Amen. and the Bible says whatever I bind in heaven yes. shall be bound on earth whatever I loose on earth shall be loose in heaven whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven it doesn't matter I win Amen. Hallelujah. so settle <laughs> it tonight that you overcome the adversity settle it tonight that I win settle it tonight all is well. All is well. <laughs> yeah, Lord. Right back to Pastor Last Thing, right? All is well. All is well. In Jesus' mighty In name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let me see those hands again. Woo! Let me see those praise the Lord. Let me see those hallelujah. Let me see those hearts. Let me see them tonight. Glory be to God. You win. Yes, we you do. win. Amen. You win. You win. May the Lord restore your marriage. Oh, yeah, May the Lord restore the relationship with your parents and your sons and daughters. Yes. May the Lord grant to you shalom, peace, nothing missing, nothing broken. Yes. When we say shalom, peace, we're saying every need in your life is met. Yes. When we yes. say shalom, peace, we're saying harmony. Yes. Wholeness, Amen. completeness, yes. prosperity, yes. and welfare yes. is your portion. We receive Everybody it. say, I receive that. We receive it. I receive Jesus. it. Receive glory it. be to God. Glory, hallelujah, your soul. I said, glory <laughs> be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Go to our website at www.relentlesslowerchurch.org. For those who are visiting us on tonight, you can check our uh, email address out and check out our information and see that we're a kingdom gospel preaching people. And if you never attended one of our worship services, it's, it's on our website and, and our secretary has put it out there on, on, as well, is that you can come to the church and come and let us preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. At Relentless Amen. Global Church is we're preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Again, we're not building a church. We're building the kingdom. Email us at info at relentlessglobalchurch.org. Church office number 713-936-6848. And lastly, our mailing address, if you like to mail us a love offering, if you like to send a nice card or a word of encouragement as well, RGC PO Box 2202, Houston, Texas 77252. God bless you all. I hope you enjoyed this series. Look, I'm so excited about God's it's faithfulness excellent. towards us because we in the kingdom of God, yes. we rise together. together. Yes, we do. Pastor Betty, like say thank you. We go. Say thank you again for joining us. Again, press that share button. Be a blessing to your family, your circle of influence. I'm telling you, the word of God is so refreshing that you don't have you you are already victorious in every area of your life. So get rid of all of your adversities. Cast your cares upon Him because he cares for you cares God for you. bless you and remember Relentless Global Church is where love, love reigns. reigns so come to any of our worship services at 8.30 and 10 o'clock a.m. come to a live service if you enjoyed this tonight I promise you it's two times three times better thousand than a live times. service my wife said a thousand, thousand so I'll go with her a thousand times, times better Amen. but we look forward to seeing many of our friends out there who just you hear us but you haven't came to visit we're giving you our personal invitation to come to a live service and come in, into the presence and the atmosphere Amen. of the Lord there's a word yes, just for you. Amen. So God bless you all. Shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Good night all. Love, Love y'all.